I built this whole data pipeline without any code, without any clicking around in a user interface, just with chatting to an AI agent. Let's check out how I've done it. This video is all about how AI agents can actually make our job as engineers easier for us so that we don't need to do all the extra work. Now, let's check that out because this one is actually really, really nice. So what I've done is I went to express.dev, which is part of Nexla, and I created a prompt here that actually then creates my pipeline. Once you're logged in, you can start asking the AI questions. And I was just saying, okay, there's the weatherapi.com. I want to get the weather data from that API and I want to write that into Snowflake. That is my goal. I want to write that there. And actually that's really cool because the AI then is going to ask us questions and say, okay, let's create the weather API credentials so that I can get the data from the weather API. And then you have that form where you add here the API key, you add URL parameters, you add the actual endpoint that you're querying here, for instance, from London. And then you say here, okay, create the credential. And then that is it. Then it's going to create you the credentials. It's then actually going to do the same thing for Snowflake. It's going to ask you, okay, what is my Snowflake host name? It's going to ask you about the port. It's going to ask you about the user and the password. And then it's going to set you up the connection. Like for me, I now have two credentials, one for the weather API and one for Snowflake. So the system is actually able to write into Snowflake. Then it's going to ask you, okay, I want to create the Snowflake sync. So what's the sync going to be named? What is my table configuration in here? And then it's going to say, okay, do I want to insert the data? What do I want to do? There's also a field mapping, but I actually said to it, well, you already know the field mappings from the API. Let's just use the specification of the API and the table that I've created in Snowflake and figure that out yourself. And it actually did it. It was really, really nice. So it created everything. And then it created me this workflow here. And with this workflow, of course, I told it I want to start this every 15 minutes. Then it created me a schedule also for this. And then I have here my source. I have a next set, which is what they call a virtual data product that can be reused or shared with others in your organization based on their access. And then I have my sync. That was the upper part without this part here. So this created, and then actually I was able to see my data in Snowflake. In Snowflake, I went to my weather data table. Here's again, here's the table definition. And to see some data, do a data preview, and then I see here all my data. And that is coming every 15 minutes from Nexla now. And one thing with that, of course, the data was just streaming straight through, right? A straight through process. I was thinking, okay, let's add something additional. Let's add a transformation. The data in Celsius, I want to actually put that into Fahrenheit. So what I've done is I was just saying, okay, I created another column in Snowflake, transtemp F, create a transformation step that will take the field current temp C from the API, transform it into Fahrenheit and store it in the new column transtemp F. That was everything that I've given him. And I said, okay, here's what I want to do. It's going to create me a transformation step here. Already said transformation step created. And it said how it's actually calculated that. And now it updated me a new sync and showed me exactly what it's going to do to process that data. So the source, the next set, the transform, and then the sync. And that was the completed thing. From that point on, my data pipeline looked exactly like this. Now with another fork where the data actually went into Fahrenheit and then got into the sink. Now we can, of course, explore this more. Where's the code here? We can actually explore the code. We just click here, open in Nexla, and then it's going to open the whole thing in Nexla. And then you see it here. We just click here on the small cube for the transformation and then on the information button and then comes up our transform code with the Python function that it actually created completely for us. The cool thing was it already had the process data here in the next set. So when we added the transformation in Fahrenheit, it actually added the values, the transformed values for the data that was already in my Snowflake table. Does that mean as an engineer, you can switch off your brain? No, because I, I had a few issues. The AI set the cron schedule not 100% right in the beginning. And then once I added the transformation, it kept the old sync, right? So I was writing data twice. 
And that is something, of course, as an engineer, you need to keep this on your mind. You need to realize this and you need to have a bunch of knowledge in that. I also had a bit of problem here, as you can see in the sync that had six errors because I misconfigured something in Snowflake, but that was completely my fault again. Right? So pretty cool solution. Having an agent that actually shows you through the whole step. And I think this kind of things will go very far. So if you want to give this a try and play around with this, express.dev, it's very quick setup, it costs you nothing, and it's actually fun to work with and see what the future brings.